Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my little auto hotkey script that I wrote here. Now, this is going to ruin friendships pretty quickly here, as it's uh, it's a little bit annoying, and it's just that something I'm going to put on. I'm finishing up the next video pretty soon now. It's on my computer or my laptop, and I'll be editing that as I go places, but here we go. So, this little auto hotkey script, if you don't know what auto hotkey is, it's a pretty cool little program that you can actually write scripts in here. So as you can see, this is my auto hotkey script. I'll explain more about it in a bit, but upon running it, it will confirm that you want to send X. So we'll say X will be sent and make sure it's not your password. And if you know it, obviously will just not do anything. But if it yes, you get this little config message here, time between inputs 40 default, but some programs might be able to handle uh, one to 10. I have no idea what Skype can handle here, so we're just going to go with 40. And as you can see, we get this little message in here. Press Shift V to begin. So it is the script is ready. Now if we press Shift and V, as you can see, it'll spam what we just said as well as X. And if we want to pause it, for example, we can hold Alt. And as you can see, it has suspended the script, so we can do whatever we want here. And then we can press Shift V to continue again. And if we want, we can also press Shift and it will terminate the script. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this now. This is the auto hotkey script. So I'm just going to go through this. Wait time tray is going to be how much is going to be a variable about how long that little notification on the side here stays up for. I might tweak with that a little bit here because two seconds is a little long. And then right here is where it pulls up the message box where it'll say, um, it'll give you four, which is the ID. So that's saying there will be a yes and no button. And then the title here as well as the contents here. So percent clipboard percent is just a variable that has your clipboard. And I'll say, make sure it's not your password. And if you hit yes, it goes to begin routine. Else, it'll say, okay, go change it and exit. Now, begin routine, it will pull up an input box here. And that will be that config that you saw earlier. Right here. So this is where it asks for the amount for what you to for what you should enter here. Now, as you can see right here, it's asking you what to do here. And that's just some other things I've set up there. And if you set this to zero, it'll actually say, hey, I can't do that because that's so short, it's not even possible. And it'll exit else, or if, if it's not zero, it'll go to real start here, which will begin this part of the script. So this is where it comes up with that little icon or tray tip saying auto hotkey script ready, press control, press shift and V. Um, and then this is sleeping for quite a bit of time here. I'm not really sure how to make it wait until you press a key. So this is kind of what I did, just because I have no idea to do this. And jump to start, that is for something later on the script. Right here is waiting for uh, shift and V to be pressed. Now I'll say active, press shift um, to end or alt to suspend. And that's my wait time tray uh, variable I set up earlier. Now right here is start, which it returns to in a bit. So this will send a control V so that it'll paste what's ever on your clipboard. And then it'll sleep for the wait time, which is what you, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. You set up right here. This is wait time. So this could be something really long if you want to do. Actually, what happens if I enter in that, that probably will crash it actually. Now it will wait that amount of time there then press enter to send it and then you can also set it up to sleep. It, it will sleep again um, and then it'll get key state so it'll see if you're pressing shift and if you are pressing shift it'll say um, it, it'll end the script and then actually exit uh, else it'll go to end routine which is right here and that'll check if you're pressing alt and if it is it'll say suspended press shift plus v to continue and there it waits for a long amount of time else it'll go to start right up here where was it 
right there. Set is an extremely little simple um, spam script here. And I'm actually in progress of making another one that does something a little bit different. I'll be right back. 